Okay, hello everybody. Uh, update for today on the video, the Cradle to Grave videos. Uh, I'm going to start out with the S&P 500. S&P 500 gets over a swing point high yesterday, right? Pushes up a little bit farther, starting to try to uh, push back down. What it pushed into was this bar, 1960, right? Traded up into it, back underneath it. It's not going to have the volume today, uh, even though intraday I don't really have volume tells here but you can see it uh, over here on the SPY if we pull the SPY up. You're just not going to have uh, a lot of volume today it looks like uh, the way this thing's trading so far. So you push up over it, now you're trying to come back. The, the bigger tell is not there, it's really over on the NASDAQ, the NDX. The, the NASDAQ and the NDX are trying to get up to the swing point highs and get over them and they can't quite get there. Here's the NASDAQ, you can see it didn't quite get there has a uh, dark candle so far today and again I'm doing this about halfway through the trading day so you know we still could see another push towards the end of the day but same thing here on the NDX the strength today is over in uh, the Russell the Russell is actually holding up pretty well and that's more than likely that's because of the uh, uh, oil sector and, and the effect that it has on the banks and the banks being a big part of the Russell which has been why the Russell has been so weak compared to everything else 1037.27 is the top, 1039 is where it's gone. So it's hit the top, trading up underneath it, probably not going to have as much volume today. So this could be a test failure by the end of the day. So given that context, you saw me taking profits on positions. The two cradle to grave positions we have, one of them is the sky right now that we're tracking, as well as the uh, a Honeywell trade and I'm gonna start with the sky but I also of course you saw took profits on things that are not video trades uh, and the reason for that is what I just went over I believe we're gonna see a pullback next week of some degree and then another attempt to push higher and I'm just trying to get in front of that and book profits you have to take profits when they let you not when they force you so, uh, or, or you have to actually sell things, right, when they let you sell them for profits versus when you're forced to do so. Here's the uh, sky trade. Now, yesterday we took this. I was looking at this swing point high as the target. Uh, we don't have much volume today as it goes up there. 2792 is the number. I don't know if it's going to get there or not, but giving the larger context of what's happening looked like a good place for us to try to take some profits while we still had them, so I just simply took them. So that's the sky trade. Can it go higher? Yeah. Does it make sense to buy it back uh, lower? Yeah. If it comes back down to 27 area, maybe I'll look at it again. The only thing I dislike about this is it's not as, uh, you know, um, the spreads are fairly high. So you don't want to be caught in this ETF or any illiquid ETF and have to sell, right? Because your spreads on the bid and ask are going to be, you know, 20 cents sometimes. And that can be the difference between profits and losses. So anyway, that's the sky. That's why we took it out and took profits on it today. Uh, and simply, you know, we'll put the money somewhere else. You don't have to stay in the trade. Uh, you know, this one actually worked. We made some money on it, but you don't have to stay in the trade when the general market, because the general market has a lot more influence on the stock, or a lot of influence on the stock, as does the sector. Here's the Honeywell trade, still not working. Got the bounce up. You know, the last time we talked about this, I said I was going to watch it and see how it traded back up into this area. With that area being this overlap, right, between these two bars. Well, it traded right into it barely, and then they sold it this morning. There was some bad news again this morning on it. Now the question is going to be is how far does this thing want to pull back, you know, and what do we do with it? Well, I don't want to quite abandon it yet because the general market, I think, is still going to push higher and still could give us a better price to get out of it. We're going to end up with a wide price spread bar on the weekly. That's probably going to set up some sort of a range. And uh, so, you know, on this particular time frame, you know, I, I don't want to stay in this too much longer, but at the same time, uh, there's the opportunity to probably get out towards these swing point highs at least. And that's about 105.72. And then this one over here is about 106. So I'm going to hang with it a little bit longer, see what it wants to do and then make a decision about what to do about it. So that's the two trades we're covering. Next week we'll pick up and uh, maybe we'll take uh, one of those trades that we already have on and start covering it. And then what I'll do is I'll review how we got to where we are 
and where we're going to go with it. Uh, one of the uh, trades, all the other trades are profitable, so we'll just simply look at one of them. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks. Take care.